All right, everybody. Welcome back to the show, Band Conversation here on iHeartRadio. Pillow Talks, iHeartRadio, every Sunday at 9 p.m., but you can catch it on Band Conversation the fourth Sunday, every fourth Sunday of the month. I'm your host, MTB Minister T. Breeze, and this Evening, I have a very, very special guest. If you've listened to this show at any point, I am sure you have heard several songs from Made for Christ. But if you have listened recently, you heard what I have already named the female anthem for like the next 10 years. I'm definitely banging this song. So I know you heard the song Queen and I got the artist here with us today. We got Mari. Kedar, Kedar, yeah. I gotta get my song right. Kedar, Kedar is in the building from <laughs> Made for God. Christ. So, Ms. Mark, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. I am um, just trying to finish up my associate's degree and get through this pandemic. <laughs> but I'm doing great. How about you? I am great and wonderful. And I ain't finishing up an associate's degree, but I did go to school a <laughs> long time ago. Period. Yeah, right. Shout out to school right quick. Shout out where yeah. you're getting this associate degree from. <laughs> Um, Georgia Piedmont Technical College. So shout out to my GPTC fam. What's up? All right, shout out, shout out, big. I need some sound effects. Bah, 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 all of that sound effects. Shout out, <laughs> big shout out to everybody. All right, so here we are, and you are the Georgia resident representative. Here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm from Georgia, from Atlanta, but in North Carolina. So I have to big up you first of all for this amazing new project that you have out the oh, song. Yes. is everywhere and um i know when you dropped it i remember seeing somebody post uh something like uh we adding this to the playlist at agnes scott and yes. i was like yes that's what i'm talking about so like i said this is i'm just saying is everybody else don't have to agree but this is going to be like the female anthem for like the next 10 years oh i appreciate that so much um so- well- when we first started making um, this song, it, it, the way that it happened, it was really God um, because we were like trying to figure out, you know, what my lane was because I do a little bit of singing, but I also do a little bit of rapping. And, um, you know, Chosen coming up one day, he was like, um, you need to get in the studio. I have this song um, for you that I want you to do. And I was like, all right, bet. So we pull up and he's got this hook and I'm like, what <laughs> like I I mean because I um I am I've always been overweight like I've always struggled with my weight and my self-image um and just having a song that's so empowering like this is just it was a, like a complete 360 from what I'm like usually used to um and it was it was what I needed um at the time so I'm just I'm happy that it's out there and it's released for um females who also like this just might be something they need something to you know bring them up and empower them for the day and just remind them that they're queens like that they got this and they can do this and that god loves them awesome awesome now being that like you say this is your lane and i and i agree i think this is definitely your lane because one of the biggest things uh that artists struggle with is literally trying to find their lane like where do i fit yeah. in music like what what represents me and, and what group of people do i do i touch do i reach so then i want to ask you as an artist uh a female artist because you know females you know y'all get a lot of a lot of flack yeah in, in the entertainment uh industry so as a female artist and coming from uh, a, a christian or as a christian hip-hop artist you know well how does how does that fit into to you how do you uh make that presentation to the world um you know are you nervous about it or do you kind of feel like you know well maybe people will like it maybe they won't or do you just drop it and really don't care how nobody feels about it um so the way that i work um and it's it's taken me a while to get here is that i do things um like by the Holy Spirit, I follow the Holy Spirit. So um, if, you know, everything, he's opening doors and he's moving a certain way, um, then we'll drop it, we'll release it. And we we always usually have like a timeline or, you know, a things things that we want to be released and how we want things to be done. But really, I we move um, the way that God moves. And so um, I... 
I am a firm believer that if you're walking in the will of God, that he will just make your path a straight one. So whoever needs to hear it will hear it. And the people that don't won't, like if you're doing all that you know to do and you're being obedient, there's no way that God is just going to be like, okay, well, you know, flop. So um, I really think it's about patience and just trusting him. But um, this is this is for him. Like, I'm not I'm less worried about um, what other people think. And that is a daily struggle because it's real easy to say and and difficult to walk out. Um, But I am really not concerned (laughs) with, um, you know, what the world thinks. (laughs) Right. Like, don't nobody care how y'all feel. I'm a queen. <laughs> right, my, bad. Yeah. my bad. All right. So now that that kind of gives a little segue into where I was going with this because I was finna, you know, kind of jump on you a little bit, but then you you hit me with the Lord. You said, you know, you can't move until the Lord say move. So yeah. I was about to get you because I was like, listen, when I heard this song. It was uh, August of 2020 when you guys blessed us at the youth conference. Yeah. And I'm like, when can I get this song? Who, <laughs> is gonna send, who do I need to pay to send me this song? They're like, no, nah, it ain't ready yet. We ain't ready to drop it yet. And I'm, I'm hitting chosen. I'm like, look, bro, send me this song. <laughs> like, we ain't ready. We got to get the promo right. Yep. We got to do this. We got to do that. And I'm like, look, I'm tired of going back on Facebook just to hear a snippet of this song and a group of like 12 young ladies at our church. They were like, is the song out? When is the song out? Can we download it? I know you got it. You're a DJ. You're gonna get it. And I'm like, it's, I don't have it. So I can't give it to y'all. So for everybody listening, I didn't do it. Y'all heard Mar say herself, she can't do it until the Lord say do it. So yeah. if it took a long time for the song to drop, that is not my fault. I tried, it didn't work. I was getting ready to get her, but she said, the Lord said, hold the song. So now we have the song. Yes. And it is bumping. Everybody has it. Everybody on my timeline bumping. Everybody on my playlist bumping. Everybody that listens to this show is bumping it. So now we have the official release of the song, Queen. Yes. Yes. And I, so now, last question, and then I'm, I'm going to get to it because I know the people are mad. And they're like, when is he going to play the song? So last question before we play the song. All right. As a female artist, how do you feel about the identity of female artists in, in music industry and media? Because, you know, you have your own style, you have your own swag that you bring to the table. So, you know, how do you feel about how the the, the bulk of female artists, especially rappers, are, are portrayed in the media? Oh, man, um, that is a topic that I could talk about forever. I I think that everything is just overly sexualized today, men and women, but particularly women. It it's I mean, and we've traded, um, you know, being we we were conning being half naked as empowerment. And I think that um it man, this is just a topic that I could go on about because I think that um there's a difference between you know, embracing who you are, embracing, you know, your curves and, you know, your physical beauty and putting, you know, your body out there for the entire world to see. Um, and I, I, I think that a lot of times, like all we talk about now is sex and I want to, that's part of the reason why, um, I, you know, wanted to be a Christian female artist is because I want to give my people something else to listen to. Like if that's, that's all you hear like of course you're going to that's you know that's what you're going to listen to and if that's what the world hears then I mean it's just coming at you so hard and having been introduced to sex at a young age and like just um you know just growing up and it's just everywhere I know that the temptation is there um and so if we can give if I can do my part um as long as God allows and give other people give people my age um something to something different to listen to then why wouldn't I I like it I like it and I think 
you probably said it a thousand times. I've said it a thousand times. And I know other artists have said it a thousand times. Christian folk like good turn up music yes. too. We we want something to, you know, the party to have a good time. You know, we ain't partying like they partying, but we want good music for us to, you know, enjoy as well. Yes. So I definitely think that it's needed. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, this song Queen speaks volumes, uh, not only to women, but just, you know, it's a positive uh, anthem, positive a uh, lyrical atmosphere for everybody, you know. So, you know, I'm just saying, throwing this out there when it's time for the remix, somebody call me, <laughs> you know, for the Queen King Absolutely. remix. Somebody, somebody hit me up. All right. So, I'm going to stop talking because the people going to get mad. I'm going to let you introduce your new single, Queen, that we getting ready to play right now. All right. Well, hey, everybody. This is Mark Kedar. What you're about to listen to next is my song called Queen. Please enjoy. <laughs> Hey, what's up, homeboy? Hey, let me holler at you right quick, homie. Hey, look, when it comes to these made misses, you should not disrespect. You will not disrespect. You know why? I'm a queen. Please don't disrespect me. I'm a queen. Please don't disrespect me. I'm a queen. You bet not disrespect me. I'm a queen. so much again for tuning in and staying with us here on band conversation with your host mtb mr t breeze here on pillow talks on iheart radio catch me every fourth sunday band conversation 9 p.m big shout out to the team big shout out to catrice Wright. big shout out to mr d big shout out to shay love big shout out to dj bliss and everybody here with us at pillow talks and we still got the queen in the building we got mari kidar <laughs> from made from christ in the building, you just heard her hot new single that we play all the time called Queen, the official, I'm saying it again, the official women's anthem for like the next 10 years. We're claiming it in Jesus' name. <laughs> there it is. Stamp, sign, seal, all that good stuff. Amen. All right. So I'm got to give a I gotta give a shout out to one of my partners who's also a member of Made for Christ because y'all got like the baddest in-house producer yes. on the team. I got to give a shout out to my partner ATLB. Shout out G. What's up, G? Shout out. Did G produce this? I know he yes, did. Yes, he did. Absolutely. Yep. This is this is a certified ATLB's banger. That is it. All right. <laughs> now listen, how how is it when you're working with 
a, a in-house producer that that just give you heat like all the time like are you ever pressured like you know i'm just i'm unworthy to to work with such great talent like i mean i know y'all all talented yeah. but i mean is it ever any pressure on you like i i got to bring it because he bringing the fire with these beats i got i got to give it all i got um so I think that the way that we do um, our creative process and our writing process is, is a little bit different. And most of the time it's me begging him to send me stuff because, I mean, he works with so many different Christian rappers and everybody's trying to get his beats all at once. So um, for us, I don't want y'all to think that is, you know, that we getting stuff off the top. It's first come, first serve out here. It's a hard, it's a hard life out here. Um, and so... Um, I think that G knows, um, he knows like my style, but he also knows that I want to branch out because I want to um, be versatile and specifically with my music. And um, I, yeah, I, I don't think that, I don't see it as intimidating. I definitely see it as a challenge and I'm always like trying to figure out the best ways because, you know, I'm real old school. I have an old soul and I'm real like proper like, and you know, when you're rapping, you know, you got to bring some slang to it. So I'm always like seeing it as a challenge and bringing more slang to the table and seeing like how Gen Z I can really get it on his tracks. So um, no, I just, I love working with him, but I, I don't see it as intimidating. It's just a challenge and I enjoy it so much. Well, I'm glad you feel that way because I be intimidated. <laughs> I be like, I want this beat, but then I don't want to not, not yes. bring the funk. Yes. I don't want to bring the heat. And he probably tired of me because I be texting G. I be I be inboxing him. I email him. <laughs> I be like, look, bro, I got to have this beat before you give it away. I need this beat. How much is it? When? Where can I send it? I need this right here, right now. And he'd be like, I got you, bro. I, got you. And I know he'd be <laughs> probably talking about me, but it's okay. You know, I just want what I want. Cause like I say, he's one of the hottest producers in the yeah. game and y'all got him in house. So I'm, I just imagine like how y'all sit around. And I think y'all went live. Like one time y'all was sitting around working on something and I'm like, yo, I just want to be there. I'm like, I'm about to get in my car right <laughs> now. Dead. I'm on the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's tons of fun, and I that's one of the things that I love about being in a group is that there is so much talent, but so many people have different ideas and bring something new and a different perspective, um, and just a different style to it. Because you know everybody has like their their own thing, their own lane, and so um, I think when we we get together as a group, like it's just it's magic, and I just I'm I love it. So yeah, no, it's. It's so much fun, and he. We are so blessed to have him um, as our producer, and just so blessed to have God bring us together in this way. Absolutely, and and for those that are new, so all that we talking about, y'all need to catch up. We talking about Mark Kidar from Maven Price. So if you don't know Maven Price, go ahead and Google. Go ahead and type it in your search right now. You need to catch yep. up. You are like ten years behind, <laughs> and you got to catch up. So if you don't know these people we talking about, you need to catch up. Shout out to Chosen. Shout out to Miss JJ. Ooh. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to G. And it's probably a whole bunch of other people. I'm I'm, I'm leaving now. Shout out Miss Deidre, uh, the manager. Shout out to the manager. Hey. You got to get the manager. A shout out. You know. So if y'all don't know who these people is, y'all need to hurry up and get on board and catch up. Just just go back and listen to my old shows. I help you get get caught up on who made for Christ. <laughs> All right. So, Miss Mar, tell us, we, we, we know you're getting ready to get this associate's degree, but can you also tell us, like, in this pandemic time, like, how has how the creative process been? Like, has it been, you've been doing, doing more stuff, you've been more creative, or has it kind of been like a struggle? Like, you know, I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm not as creative as I was due to the pandemic. Oh, I think, well, so I went to, um, I just graduated in January, but I went to an online high school. So when everybody was freaking out about the pandemic, I was not um, because that was just my life on the regular online school. And um, I think, but I think also at that same time, I was also juggling a whole lot between um, music and um, I run a business, I run a tutoring business. So um, juggling that was just a ton. And I think my creative process suffered a lot and that I just like never really felt like I had the time. And so, you know, God gives us time and we just have to be better managers of it. And I think that um, 
this year I have done so much better in terms of blocking out time to really get in the studio to really sit down and write and it's slow going and uh chosen will tell you he'll be like you know what she'll never be in the studio whatever um (laughs) (laughs) I I think that um you know this this year in particular I think that it was, it, it's right. It's time. Um, and I also like, you know, I, like I said, I do everything, um, by the Holy spirit. And I think at that time there were still things that I was going through that I needed, you know, to, to finish, like I needed to cut off or end so that I could be able to write about them freely. It's like, you know, you, you can't write about something when you're in the middle of it, but when you're, you know, right. you're at the end, it's like, okay, well now I can, you know, put into words really how I'm feeling about this. Absolutely, absolutely. So there is an album coming, correct? Yes, yes. And so, oh, right. Tell us about this album you got coming. That is a perfect segue. Um, so we're not sure when it'll be released, but we do know that it'll be this year. Um, we're still it's in the in the workings, and um, we have no name for it yet. So, um, I don't want you, you know, to think that we just we're really in the process of getting it getting it finished, but um the music has been amazing thus far. Um, I do a lot of, like, I write my own stuff. Um, and, um, I just think the process has been amazing in this album. You know, you'll see a lot of me because I think that Queen is an anthem, but it doesn't really tell you about where, like, who I am, um, what I from, it tells you who I am in terms of, you know, what I believe about myself, but what I've been through, what I'm going through, what I've struggled with, like, I think that my album will be a beautiful depiction of that and also an encouragement to others who struggle with the same things. All right. So wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You said there is an album, but you don't have a date. Nope. And you don't know, you just kind of know it's going to be sometime this yep. year. Towards the end of the year. <laughs> You'll be the first oh, to know. Oh, Lord, I got to wait. <laughs> oh, I got to wait all over again. This is. <laughs> I promise. Jesus, give me patience. I, I can't handle it. <laughs> all right. All right. So anyhow. All right. So sometime this year, we will keep everybody host. Everybody stay tuned. All right. So we have Queen, though. So I'm going to bang Queen until I can't bang it no I more. All that. right. Yes. Thank you. What, what about a video? Any videos coming soon? We, that is in the works. I know that Made for Christ, um, we kind of like, and that's the, the, the horrible thing about this pandemic is that um, when we do our videos, we like to invite like everybody to come participate. And because of COVID and just trying to, you know, be safe, like that has really stopped our process um but i know that we we have um i know there's a video for queen coming and um i can't release a date right now but it is coming and more waiting more (laughs) waiting um and um i know that there are a couple of songs that we had definitely talked about doing a bit a video for just um as you know the pandemic loosens up and everybody starts getting um man uh there starts getting the um the shots so that you know they can everybody is kind of immune to it and so you know once the health concern goes down i feel like we'll be able to be out and about and more videos will start coming for you absolutely i love it i love it all right so tell everybody where we can find you where they can connect with you where they can download get your music all your platforms all that good stuff oh sure um so my name is mari kidar um usually just the at symbol and then m-a-r-i-k-e-d-a-r and like when you type that in it'll pop up the song um in in spotify it's then the song is out everywhere spotify apple music amazon music pandora um things that like you've never even heard of it's everywhere so um you can get it but yeah mari kidar um and the at symbol before it that's all my social media facebook instagram twitter which is just like me raving about hamilton because that's all i do on twitter but um you know instagram and facebook you know that's where you'll find some music stuff all right any shout outs before we get out of here yes first of all shout out to the 12 girls that were waiting on queen to come out okay i appreciate right. y'all y'all be paying they finally stop bugging me <laughs> i love y'all um shout out to 
um, just the maid fam. Thank you guys for listening in. Shout out to um, the girls that have been rocking with me for, from Agnes Scott, okay, who have been streaming the heck out of the song. I appreciate y'all so much. And then just shout out to everybody who's bought it so far, who's asked me about it, who's heard it at least once. Y'all help keep my lights on. So thank you so much. Oh, well, awesome, everybody. This is Mari Kidar. Make sure you go check her out. Lick her up. The new single Queen is out right now, and you are tuned into band conversation with your host MTB, Mr. T Breeze. Before we go, Mari, give us a song. Pick a song, any song. What song you want to hear? Like right now. Um, let's hear it. Hit different by you and Chosen. Oh, that's, that, that, that's why you on the show. That's what I'm talking about. Look, put that in there. We getting ready to play different. Chosen and Mr. T Breeze right now. Hit different. Let's go. I gotta have this one made up. ATL with another. It's hitting different all the way, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't care what you thought, don't care what you say. It hit different when you know you say. Yeah. Don't care what you thought, don't care what you say. It hit different yeah. when you know you say. Hey. It hit different, it hit different, it hit different, it hit different, it hit different. Yeah. different. different. Yeah. different. Yeah. It hit Especially when you say, but you got killer instinct With a little bit of Mike Tyson and a little bit of credible hope that six it Or like when super thick they walk in the room and you're like, oh god, wanna hit hit Or like when you get busted and hear about big break, cause you ain't paying attention Then I hit a little different, don't that feel a little different For the good, I'm different, so why you acting different? Is it cause I got deliverance from the magnificent, now I got benefits? Hit a little different, don't it? And that's why you hating, homie I don't care what you thought, I don't care what you say it hit different when you know you say. Yeah. Don't care what you thought. Don't care what you say. It hit different yeah. when you know you say. Hey. It hit different. Hey. It hit different. Hey. It hit different. Hey. It hit different. Yeah. different. Today I'm just David Banner uh-huh. I'm too legit with a Falcons jersey Man, I'm MC Hammer uh-huh. 12 watching me, got me on they body camera yeah, right. But I'm watching them and got my phone on panorama yeah. I be everywhere. everywhere, I mean everywhere yeah. I got work to do, I'm never in my pastor chair uh-huh. I shame the devil like somebody seen his underwear hey. Covered hey. in the blood hey. like hey. Under hey. Armour hey. Got endorsements hey. there hey. They don't like my music, uh-huh. what they talking about I'm not lyrical enough, they say I'm too south It's that southern slang that helped the gospel come out And I don't care what they say, I keep his praises all in my mouth I don't care what you thought, I don't care what you say It hit different when you know you say I don't care what you thought, I don't care what you say It hit different when you know you say It hit different, it hit different, it hit different, it hit different, yeah. different. What's happening? Big blessings to everyone. This is Pastor TJ Austin from Abundant Life Ministries. And we want to welcome you to come visit us and join us for a great time of worship, praise, and good fellowship. My wife, Pastor Jay, and I would love to see you at 7.45 a.m. Sunday morning for our Sunday School Life Service. Our Worship Life Service will begin at 9 a.m. And you can join us on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month for our Bible study life beginning at 7 p.m. We are not tripping on the dress code. Just make sure you come comfortable. Be sure to catch our live broadcast every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on Facebook. Follow our page at Abundant Life Ministries Gastonia. You can also keep up with us on Instagram at welcome to ALM. Also, make sure you follow and subscribe to us on YouTube at Abundant Life Ministries Gastonia. If you need to contact us, you can always get us at gmail.com. Abundant Life Ministries Gastonia at gmail.com. Abundant Life Ministries Gastonia at gmail.com. So remember, y'all, this is Pastor T 
Senior Pastor of Abundant Life Ministries of Gastonia. My wife, Pastor Jay, and I would love to see you at 1805 Mountain View Road, Bessemer City, North Carolina. Service times are 7.45 a.m. Sunday School Life, 9 a.m. for our worship service, the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. for our Bible Study Life. Y'all come on and see us down here in Bessemer City, North Carolina, where we are living life elevated. It's different down here.